Hey, this is Katie with tips to help you sell more. Now, we've been talking about how to generate a product or service idea as well as how to source it, but this week it's nine tips to evaluate your product or service. So, number one, definitely going to be size and weight, especially with UPS and FedEx making some changes recently. Take a look, see how awkward, heavy, large your particular product is, and how much it's going to cost. Something else to consider is Number one reason people abandon a cart typically seems to be really high shipping costs. So something that you're gonna wanna think about and again, do that research. Now, number two, fragile means handle with care, which means consider how much it's gonna cost to ship because you got those extra packing materials. But also, if the package doesn't arrive the way that it's supposed to, evaluate that cost and definitely think about what you're gonna do to make that situation right for your customer. Number three, don't get skewed. <laughs> so for this one, I love just using a simple t-shirt example. Um, for instance, t-shirt, very simple, one product, right? No, SKUs are stock keeping units. You've got multiple of the same thing. So small, medium, large, different colors, maybe different logos, all kinds of options. All of a sudden, your inventory just exploded. So something you wanna consider as far as where you're gonna store that inventory as well as how much that's gonna cost you. Next, Consumable, disposable, perishable can really be a good thing, especially if you're selling something that's like chocolate. As soon as that's gone, I'm ordering more, so it's really gonna drive demand. But if it's perishable, how are you gonna actually make the product to order? How's it all gonna work? As well as the shipping, making sure it arrives and the taste as good as it's going to, right? Um, Cakestore.com does a really great example of this, something that's really obscure and just a really cool thing to think about. They ship live animals at tortoisesupply.com, so definitely check them out, see all that goes into that particular type of business. Next, seasonality. So for this one, it could really play to your advantage. It just depends on how you wanna run your business and what your business goals are. So if I'm selling something like suntan oil, something really simple like that, Winter, probably not gonna be my popular season, but maybe I wanna sell something where I'm a stay-at-home mom and I wanna be off with my kids during the summertime. I pick a product where summer's not a particularly hot time and I can kinda of take a little bit of a break. Again, something to consider. Next, passion or pain point item versus a luxury item. Now, both of these work exceptionally well. However, um, passion or pain point, especially if you're weighing different options, would definitely be what I would go with because it just drives demand a little bit more versus a luxury item. However, luxury of watches, they're killing it. Doing a really great job selling really high-end watches like Rolexes and things of that nature versus a passion or pain point item like rocktake.com. They actually have a particular type of bandage where it supports your muscles, ligaments, things of that nature if you're maybe working out regularly, really active, or maybe undergoing some sort of physical therapy. So a literal pain point. I thought I was clever. Next, competition. So for this one, pretty simple. Can you actually get your particular product from Amazon, Walmart, Target? People are gonna be going there. It's gonna take a long time to get some actual momentum around your business. Can work well, but you just have an uphill battle right away, right out of the box. So next, ankle swagger. So this one is a really great example of subscription business. They sell basically socks and it's really wonderful and they do a great job. However, they sell a subscription service so they have repeat buyers coming back over and over again. So if you've got a particular product you think you can get that repeat business, that's going to be a really solid healthy business from the get-go. Last but not least, simple, just don't forget, make sure you actually enjoy the item that you're going to sell. It's going to be your life for a little while. You want to be passionate about it too. So definitely a really important one really want to consider for sure. So thank you so much. Tune in next week for more tips to help you sell more online. Thanks.